1965. It was a year of love, war, and rock and roll. The Beatles! Some would say good old Garland was pretty straight laced back in those days. But don't be fooled. This fella right here, Bill McMullen, a prominent newsman, was bringing the cool to Garland with this mid century modern home that he built for himself and his wife. Complete with built in wall speakers, a multi room intercom system, and yes, an indoor pool. Of course, the swanky Mr. McMullen is long gone, but the new owners have vowed to restore this butte back to the glory days. The amount of effort and money and time that you put into restoring anything in the mid-century modern world, you gotta love what you're doing. So it was important when we walked in, we could fall in love with it, and we, we, we felt that we could bring this back uh, with a lot of love and a lot of hard work to, to what it may have been. What also helped us was when we moved in, we found the original blueprints. We found the design book, so we knew how it was supposed to look. We knew how the, the carpeting was supposed to look. We, we kind of have a good idea being in the mid-century modern world of, of how the furniture and, and the interior design is supposed to look. So we made a lot of guesses, but it was something that we just fell in love with and thought, yeah, we love it enough to want to put our heart and soul into bringing it back. And I think, you know, the area deserved it too. This was a unique jewel of a home that had just fallen apart. And so it, it was, you know, incumbent upon us to change that. So we did. Well, this place in particular, it was, it's, it was designed by an architect called, uh, or an architectural company called Craycroft Lacey & Associates back in 65. Um, they were a Dallas uh, architectural company that designed office buildings. And we were looking for a home that was architect design. That was important to us because they're one of a kind, right? Um, even back then they were one of a kind. And so we knew it was designed by a, a, a fairly prominent Dallas architect back in the 60s. We know it was commissioned by a fairly prominent Dallas stroke Garland newsman. His name was Phil McMullen. Uh, he commissioned the house to be built with his wife, Audra. Uh, he was a prominent newsman. He owned several newspapers, including the one here in Garland in the 60s. He was a member of the city council. Um, so it was a prominent architect building a house for a prominent person in 1965. So it held the promise uh, certainly would make us want to come look at it. And when we looked at it, of course, uh, we it blew our minds. I mean, there's just nothing like it that we'd seen. So, and uh, they're just built differently. I mean, as you can see, I mean, they don't build homes like this anymore. Um, you know, with pools in the living room, they just don't. There's a lot about the house that's unique that really takes you back. When, when you put on some Miles Davis or some Beatles and you walk around this house, you really do feel like you're back in 65, you just do. And it, it's, I think the house, without sounding weird, kind of appreciates it. It, it just has a really good vibe about it. So that, that, that was, you know, I think one of the most pleasing things about doing it. We, we didn't know anything about Garland when we moved and um, we were pleasantly surprised when we got here, not just for this house, but the houses that surround it too. The area is really nice. It's, it's older, it's well kept, people care about it. Um, I often see people just, you know, my neighbors, people that live around here walking in the park here and just picking up litter, which that's good. It's got a good community spirit. In my days, and I'm talking about living in England, Los Angeles, Nashville, and Florida, I've never had neighbors come to my house with hot apple pie and cookies when I moved in, ever. So it was definitely different for us, and yeah, it was, it was awesome. But yeah, Garland, no, everybody still, they raise an eyebrow because it's not known for mid-century. Um, but I think this little area, especially around Glenbrook, is gonna get quite the reputation for being, uh, having a really healthy mid-century modern scene. Um, even nationally, it's, it's that good, honestly.